Hey everybody, it's Larry again. Hope all you guys are doing good out there. Today what we're going to be focusing on is cooking some calf liver, alright? So I know this is kind of one of those weird meats that people kind of shy away from, but if you're into bodybuilding, you take it seriously, calf liver will be a very beneficial thing for you, okay? I like to eat this when I haven't been in the gym for a while, so like I haven't been in the gym for like maybe a week now and I'm starting to feel a little depleted, a little, a little deflated. Um, last week was Christmas, a couple days ago was New Year's, so we took, I took those week, that week off. It's got a lot of vitamin B12, which is good for uh, red blood cells, DNA formation, and it's good for brain function. It has a lot of vitamin A in it. Riboflavin, I think I'm saying that right, I don't, I don't have a clue. I guess it helps your body turn food into energy. Folate, which is good for cell growth, maybe muscle growth. Copper, which helps your energy levels. So this is going to be something good before the gym or after the gym, but I like to do it before the gym, uh, paired up with some carbs, maybe some vegetables to get my energy up in the gym. And most importantly, the protein and amino acids are awesome in this. 22 grams of protein in one little slice. Um, and all the essential amino acids. Sorry, so what I'm going to do for this recipe is since this is frozen, I'm going to cook it on low for 20 minutes to defrost it. If I can open it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a pan on low for 20 minutes, flipping it every 5 minutes. As it defrosts on the outside layer, I'm going to shave away the layers that are already defrosted and put them on this plate. I don't know. Gonna let that do its thing. Alright guys, while this is heating up slowly, I'm gonna go over here and chop my onion. Do a little multitasking, save you some time. Ah, sharp knives work a little bit better. So I know a lot of people struggle with the nutrition part of bodybuilding, so I'd rather focus my time on talking about nutritional stuff than workout plans because this kind of stuff a lot of guys don't really cook they eat out this and that um, so this is some stuff that I've always uh, enjoyed about bodybuilding is learning how to cook different things and liver and onion is definitely one of those things that I never really had until I started working out but I've definitely noticed <laughs> the benefits Alright guys, it's been about five minutes, and I think the recipe called for these to be apart, but I couldn't get them apart, so I just kind of put the whole thing in there, and I'm going to flip it, and be able to be spread apart. So the bottom is getting softer, so that looks pretty, pretty defrosted. Last time I cooked this, guys, I just threw it in the fridge overnight, and it made things a little easier. So you have the opportunity to do, I would suggest it. Cover it, and we'll check on it in five more minutes. So what I basically did was every five minutes I flipped it, and I was able to peel a layer off. It's a little slimy, it's a little tough, but if I can do it, you can do it. Um, so I've got my slices of defrosted liver here. What I'm going to do now is just add some salt and pepper to it, bread them, and then uh, change my heat from low to high and cook them like regular. So I just season it with salt and pepper, bread it with some flour. I'm gonna wait for this to heat up. 
uh, some olive oil to this. Get a good amount in there. And when this starts to smoke, then you can start to add your liver. I'm just gonna start to mess with this. Once you coat it, it stops being so slimy and hard to handle. I got that. Get this little guy going. Shake off the excess. You kind of just want like one little, like a dusting layer. Ooh, starting to smoke. So now we're looking good here. What I'm gonna do is put one piece down at a time. Onions are smelling good. The meat's smelling good. All right, guys. So once we get a good brown crust on both sides, it's good to go. I'm just gonna put this all on the plate. All right, guys. So. Alrighty guys, um, what I got here now is just deliver the onions. I cut up some cherry tomatoes just for a little side and a glass of whole milk. Keep all your food sources whole. Get some onion in there. So good. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Larry. Have a good one.